Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, we are back inside Lumion Legacy, and I gotta tell you, I have been doing lots and lots of grinding and all that good stuff. Now I actually have originally made a back in Lumion Legacy video. I did some sweet retreat, and um, I will say it went pretty well, but um... As you can see here, I'm inside Atlantean City. Now, you guys don't know anything about this city if you haven't um if you haven't watched any videos on it because I have not posted one. Now, um this is only because I just had many problems uploading the video. I actually ha have I literally recorded the video months ago, but it never really got out so in this video i'm going to be showing you what i've done just to kind of cover it now um don't don't, don't really uh get confused here uh this is my team right now so um you have no idea most likely on what has happened uh just because of uh, the fact that um, I haven't been really posting many Lumion Legacy videos. So, uh, let's start. Uh, so, I'm actually going to teleport to where we left off the Fleet Retreat. So, I have been doing a lot of shiny hunting and... Um, I got a lot of new cool shinies to show you. So, um, let's get into that. Now, um, I don't think, uh, you guys will be, like, you will be so confused. Uh, because, like, this is just a lot. So, um, I have been shiny hunting here, and I have tons of shiny mochi bees, like just all around my box. Um, I did get a shiny gecko, a shiny slugling. I got three shiny worms now. Uh, I got a shiny scalava. Uh, actually, this now this is something that's kind of different, just from something like a shiny worm. This is a shiny wrestling. Now, if you guys don't know, wrestling actually evolves from Vari. Now, I believe I did show you this in my Back in Lumion Legacy video. If not, one of those three new ones. Um, so, basically, Vari has many different evolutions. I have Wendell and Wrestle and, and Buzzle. So far. So, if you guys want me to make some more videos on getting every single one, stay tuned for that. And, um, I was just blown away on how I got this. So, Vari is a 1 in 128 chance of catching. And just to encounter one, I mean... Not to catch, but d just to encounter one is 128. Imagine getting a shiny of something that is already extremely hard to get. So this is kind of, like, crazy to me. And the way that I got it, I had, like, a minute left on my Gleaming Lumi boost. So it makes it even more, like, oh my god. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, I named it Wrestle and, well, wait, I named it Watermelon because it looks like a watermelon, but I guess it didn't really keep the name, but, um, yeah. So, a, a shiny Vari is around a 1, a one in 20,000 chance, but, as you can see, next to its level, it says level 17, at the top right corner... Of the uh, of wrestling, 
there it, it shows that it's male so basically a male vari is a one in five chance of encountering just a regular vari so a male vari is about like a one in 500 chance now getting a shiny male vari that makes well i don't know but from what it seems like this is a one in 100,000 chance so this is by far my rarest lumion ever just period like and i uh i really was like screaming my head off when i found that um we do have gobbled gobbledemic here um this is actually it's inside of um uh uh, you see this Lumion in uh, my old one of my old intros, uh, actually my latest intro, and um, you, um, what, it's pro it's in the same exact video as when I beat the Battle Theater. Uh, go check that out. Um, it's actually in one of my playlists that I put on the channel. So uh, I think it's like I think it's part seven. Yeah. Yeah, it's part seven, and then came the Lumion Le Legacy Sephirite City premiere. Now, I did catch one of these myself. Uh, it was kind of pretty surprising. Uh, I will say this is probably one of my favorite Lumions, just looking-wise. But, um, yeah. The rest of my shinies. I evolved. This is actually uh, my first ever Gleaming Gorm, and I evolved into Odasho. So, really, I have four Gleaming Gorms. <laughs> Um, shiny toilet. Those are basically all my shinies. And then to top it all off, I got a shiny uh, Gardrone. Now, this is actually a pretty good Lumion in my opinion. Now, the way that you do this, uh, if you guys want to know how you get Gardrone, uh, you can just search up a video on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, it basically evolves from, um, Scorb, yeah, it, it ev well it doesn't evolve from Scorb. It evolves from Valens, and then Valens evolves from Scorb. But you don't just have to level it up. There's a different way to do it. Uh, and since you don't you don't level it up to evolve it, you actually have to get materials for it to learn the moves. It's a really cool thing. Um, but I have that on my team. Um. This, I named it Splatoon because it just reminds me of Splatoon. All, like, the paint and graffiti and stuff. Uh, you actually, inside Sephirite City, you may find this Lumion, like, uh, spray painting on the wall. Uh, so yeah, I encountered one of those just recently. I tried to evolve him. Uh, he, he needs to be level 30 to evolve. Um, he's level 28 right now. So, I was actually planning on putting him in uh, one of my boxes here. Now, um, this is where it gets kind of weird. I have boxes and boxes of Lumians. Um, I actually put a set of Mars them. If you guys don't know, uh, here, this is actually, um, this evolves from Rack Rolla. Now, um, you probably have seen him if you've been with me for the whole Lumion Legacy journey here. Now, um, Rack Rolla is probably my favorite looking Lumion. It is, like, aside from Gobbledemic, it is so adorable. And I just cannot stand it. <laughs> and then I evolved it into Cinemars. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to keep that on my team there and placement for Splatoon. But, um,. Inside the Sweet Retreat event, you got Squirrel, a uh, strawberry form, and um, you got just swarms of coppling, which um, you basically get from Gra um, Granite Cave or something. Uh, you can also search up a video on that. Many Lumions that I will show you in this video. Um, it's just a lot, so um, if you really want to know how to get those certain Lumions, there are many great videos out there. Now, um, 
That's basically it for there. I think I said everything else. Uh, really? I actually... I got a cake. I got two cake slugglings from this Leo Treat event. One in 200 chance. Shout out to Lumi Boost over here, Gleaming Encounters, because um, it it really like it really encourages me to hunt more for things that uh, aren't shiny but are just hard to get regularly, like a Vari or a cake slugling. Now, for the very fun part of the video and and one of the big reasons why i'm making this my team now um this is basically like my box for like this box and the shiny box are kind of like the lumines that i use like right now um of course i do use wrestle in here well i kind of used to i used him for the gym but i just don't think that he should really stay because actually i don't know if this is a very very smart decision but you know set of mars it's very good but in pvp it's kind of bad uh so i'll, I'll actually switch it out for now and uh, the good the good thing is it is a pretty pretty high level. Oh my god, it's so close to level 44. But, uh, yeah. And then it's aggressive. Uh, get a melee attack boost each time you knock out another Lumion. So yeah, I think that will be cool. So yeah, right now, my team is so uh, over here. So we got Staravia. Y'all probably already know how I got this in the Sea Street event in um, one of my latest videos, Mutagon. Uh, I don't think I talked about him. So, there's actually a story behind this Lumion. So, way back in the Sephiroth City premiere. Oh my god, that was so fun to make. Like, I totally remember doing that. Even editing it was, like, so fun. But, um, basically... If you've seen that, one of my most viewed videos on the channel, uh, it's actually uh, from Sephirite City. Now, uh, I gotta get out of uh, Sweet Retreat here. In that premiere, there was this uh, thing that kind of looks like a porta potty. Uh, <laughs> I kept talking about it. There were people in the chat, like, like saying, like, what? Porta potty? What? And, um, basically, I did not know how to get in there. But I figured it out. I, uh, came across a video how to get Mutagun. And I was like, uh, what? I, I didn't know that that even existed. Uh, basically, if you go over here to Route 7, uh, you, you should remember what I'm talking about if you have also seen the premiere. Uh, right over here. So, yeah, as you can see, I, look, it kind of looks like a porta potty You can't be mad at me for, telling it, for saying this looks like a porta potty but, um, yeah, you can basically go down it if, um, you follow the sequence and everything in the video. It is a pretty hard-to-get Lumion. There's not that many steps, but it definitely takes some time. Now, as you go down in this elevator, you will, uh be in this like underground sewers now um about like everything here you can't really go inside of it but yeah so um this is kind of like the background story it's it, um mutagon uh was like a test subject and um well it kind of got like used to um it was just kind of trapped and um there was nothing that i could really do but once you solve this puzzle 
you would go in here, it would show you some story on how it all happened, and Mutagon would show up, you'd catch him. And that's basically the story behind that. So, uh, that's Mutagon. Our drone, it's just a regular Scorb inside Pollute Corp that you could catch, also from the Copyright City premiere. Uh, Rock, you probably already know. Let's have my starter Lillian. You know, I always gotta have my starter on my team. And, um, Joel Tooth because he's just great. He, um, has a variety of moves that are really good. So, back up the elevator. Now, uh, let's talk about Zion. Now, uh, this is actually a Lillian called Tyrex. And, uh, he's a beast. Oh. He actually has the mo- uh, yeah, he actually has the strongest move in all Lumion Legacy. Complete Demolition. So, it says, attempt to completely destroy the foe. On your next turn, you'll be too exhausted to move. So, this is like an all-out attack. Like, uh, you know, I could actually show you right here. You know, I'm gonna battle this guy. So, you got it. You, you go into battle, right? You completely destroy everything that is surrounding you. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. Uh, but yeah, I actually got it from the Sapphire City Junkyard. It's nothing special. It's just, I think it's like a one in like fifty chance of spawning. But yeah, I, this is not very effective to the Goppy, but I'll just do it just to show you, show it off, show you guys. But look at this. He takes some rocks and he just destroys that Goppy. I mean, it's not gonna, wait, what? <laughs> it wasn't very effective, but it just absolutely destroyed that Goppy. Bam, as I go through this gym, the next thing that we are going to talk about Actually, one of, I think it's like the second to last subject. It is rallying and mounts, or saddles. So, um, basically everything around this is a pretty short one. Uh, saddles, as you may know, um, is actually not very big in the game. It's more like a small subject, uh. It's basically, it gives you the ability to ride your Lumion. So, um, uh, that's actually how I ride my Zion, my uh, Tyrex. And it's not for every single Lumion. It's just certain Lumions. Um, I also have a Gardrone saddle and the basic uh, Trumble saddle. So, um, yeah, it is pretty cool. I uh, basically uh, the only reason why I only have for guard drone and Tyrex is because those the, those are my only two Lumions that are available to saddles. So um over here I need to actually go to the Rally Ranch now. In my uh, Sephirite City video part seven before the premiere, I actually get to the Rally Ranch and. There's an option to rally. Now, basically, rallying is kind of like breeding. If you've seen any Pokemon uh, games or just uh, Pokemon itself, you can breed. Uh, and, like, let's just say, uh, let me see. Yeah, so if I wanted to rally Wrestling, I could put an assistant. And toys, feeds, and totems are all, like, to help uh, have, like, the same personality and stuff. All that. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't really use it much. But uh, I know it's there, at least. And these are the saddles. So, as you can see, I have the Tyrex and Gardron saddle. And um, there are other certain saddles for that. Now, one of the end... The, the end to this video here to wrap it up it's really going around what why haven't i really been uploading any legacy content now here's the thing 
not many of my Lumion Legacy videos get many views on the channel. So, I'm not going to be spending a whole load of time making Lumion Legacy videos. Only because I think the majority of the channel doesn't really watch it. But, for the people that do, that's the reason why I'm even uploading this video. Because, I know there's probably at least one person out there that does that they enjoy these videos and to those people who don't oh trust me most of my content will just be stuff that i think you will love and it's not gonna really be all around lumine legacy but the players that do like it i'm not quitting the game uh i just probably won't upload many lumine legacy videos often i'm gonna try doing like one or two a week just to you know keep you guys posted and maybe I could do some challenges here and there. Some fun stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I I really think that this could end up somewhere. And um, we are on the road to 50 subscribers. So if you can please subscribe, that would help a lot. And uh, comment down below, what would you like to see next in Lumine Legacy? Now, um, before I end it here... Last thing I know, it's going to be a long video, but I want to talk about, oh god, alright, yeah, oh my god, I just lost it there for a second, I want to talk about battling, and, uh, so, yeah, battling, uh, it basically you get Colosseum points and you can buy cool stuff here for, uh, like, battling at the Battle Coliseum. I will probably do many, uh, like, challenge videos here, uh, for, like, the most part. Because, uh, I think it would be really, really cool to do that. And, uh, most Sweet Retreat, uh, updates will probably... Uh, not be recorded much for a video. My, it's kind of just like small one, like single Lumion updates here and there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the, the later videos that I post here on the channel. Now, I am actually pretty, pretty high level here. Uh, I'm trying to get to level 50 pretty soon. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.